to partner for uh, Papua and Letran. Well, sa kumpunan ng Letran, nandiyan kaagad si Miller at si Chris Calacchio. Dalawang top scorer sila. Samantala sa kumpunan ng Papua, of course, si Benedicto, si Pimentel, yan ang kanilang mga atahan dito sa pagsisimula ng ating laban. Paalala, we are uh, playing in halves, Randy, dito. Yes. Dalawang 20-minute halves sa ating laro. And you hear the crowd right now. Here is Miller. Last year, he made his uh, debut dito po sa NCAA Letran. Third place last year. First possession para sa kanila. Low post play. Nagkakaatrasa na. Prior going to Miller. Ikot ang bola. And yes! First basket for Letran. They will be going to their money man. Pumunta kagad sila kay Chris Calacchio. At hindi sila pinahiya nito. Last year, ang Letran ang possession. Well, Raimundo. Curvy Raimundo starting out for Letran. Partially deflected nga lang yung tira niya. Well, he came up against Pimentel. Here is the shooter. Miller, pass it aside. Prior for three. Yes! This is the set. Turn around by Raimundo. Prior, a 5-6 recruit from Binyan Laguna. May ako ba? Well, Miller. Here is Miller. Oops. Almost Miller time there, but Calagio to the rescue for Letran. Fine observation partner. Itong uh, si Raimundo looking for his first two points. Hindi pa rin dumarating. Susubo ka ulit si Kirby. It still wouldn't fall for Letran and Raimundo. But Letran has to settle dito sa punto to. Raimundo is given the opportunity to shine this early. The slam dunking going back to Raimundo. He is blocked but he's fouled. Needs a lot of it. Dahil feeling nila contender ang kakupunan ng, Let ng uh, Letran. Raimundo sa free throw area. He's showing a good touch from there. Punang punto siya ni Raimundo. Ito po sa katawan natin si Raimundo, batang-bata mo, ito yung uh, payat ng kanyang balikat. And really, first days of big-time basketball for Raimundo after. Makikita niyo po yung height niya ng 6-6 mo. Pero you also see his uh, weight, 170 pounds. The basketball, ito sa baseline, Miller, the J, supply, and Prior, Miller, the fake, the move, the slice, do oh, almost Miller time. 2 minutes and 58, Miller sees daylight, Boy. he's blocked. But fouled by Omanzi Rodriguez. Oh, and I feel it on si uh, Paso. Medyo ibinombo pa niya na konti. Mm -hmm. Habol na habol ang mahabang galamay ni Rodriguez. Pero unfortunately, that will be the third for the Mapua center. The rookie center at that. And Miller will go to the free throw line. Miller. Ngayon po, hindi pa nakaka-score ito. Malakas pa yung kanyang free throw. A lot of expectation from the uh, second-year player. William Miller, who stands 5'10", a management student from Letran, nanggaling po ito sa Olonga po. 175 pounds, Wala pa rin. zero points pa rin after this point, Randy. Oh. Prior going to Raimundo. And looking for it, finally getting it mula dito kay Kirby Raimundo. Catwick, Miller. At uh, dadaanan ka lang, no? parang palang roadrunner itong si Miller. Pero one thing, yung defense ng Mabu has been very effective mm -hmm. against Willie Miller. Hindi nila hinahaya ang makarang ka din si Miller. Dito pag ito ang pumutok, mahirap din pigilan no, ito. Yeah. Uh, si Villoria, pinaltad na yun para si Kapwa po nasa penalty na ang magkabilang kukunan. Tonight, itong si Miller ay nakakapagtala. Wala pang puntos. Missing two free throws earlier and finally earning his first point. Po, isa sa mga veteran, actually only second year player, pero he averaged 30 points per ball game. Nine pushing inside, Miller umatake, and that was a foul. That would mean three free throws para po dito kay Willie Miller. At masamang balik, Letran. Si Miller, ang kanya mga puntos lahat po galing sa free throw area. Vintage sa kanyang free throw, so he's going two out of five tonight. At marami-rami mga turnovers na ako kumit nito si Willie Miller. Last year, he was fourth overall kung dating siya error. Ako ngayon, baka mamunguna siya at least dito sa opening oh, day. Oo, eh, dahil wala pa yung second game. Dahil <laughs> obviously, dito siya yung may pinakamaraming error na sa laro, partner. With seven minutes and a half remaining dito sa second half. And that takes a lot from his team. Ngayon, nakalamang giving the ball to Miller. Kailangan nilang, uh, yung nga, magsaya ng ilang mga segundo rito to eat up some time. They're on top, Letran, 54 to 49. And let's see, Pimentel, very close on Miller. Nakita niya, nine seconds, Miller. Walang kilos mula sa Letran player, naghihintay ng pasa, prior for the three. And Lokalagio saving it, but to the wrong man, Rodriguez. 57 seconds remaining in this exciting ball game. Mabua, the three is in. 
boy, oh boy. Big shot for Pimentel. Second three-point shot of the ball game. All scored in the second half of play. A total of eight for the Mapua Cardinal named Pimentel. Only a two-point ball game, Randy. Yes, and it's going down the wire. Prior. The handoff. No basket. It's all Russell Dazzle. And the foul will go against Vélez of Letran. And that in 28.5 seconds, Letran is on top by two. Jensen Pimentel. And let's see if he will feel the pressure. He first. Just a one-point ball game now. 54, Letran. 53, Mabua. Medyo kinakaba na mga fans ng uh, Letran at ang Mapua naman all on their feet umayo na naman ang Letran He does it! It's tied at 54 Here is the play for Letran No timeouts called Randy Yes! As both coaches relying on their players to make the decision Here is Prior 90 seconds it's all tied, let's see the play will this be the last or will we go into overtime? Calagio 10 seconds to shoot. The fans on their feet. Dito sa Araneda Coliseum. Calagio, he's got to do it somewhere. Calagio, will he have enough time? No, I don't think he will have time. We will, we will go to overtime, yes. Randy. And this is the, just the first game. Letran and Mapua. 54 all after 40 minutes. We'll be back. Ng 73rd NCAA Games. And first crack. Going to Letran, Prior, and there's the nutcracker and the person of a good chance to win this ball game. So far, we're held to a scoreless extension period. Miller, that was red. Basan basan ng uh, mapuwa yung pasa and Pimentel again. Well, the, the pass was late from Miller. Mm -hmm. Meron tama, na siya kakampi dito sa left wing. Pero pumunta sa kanan, dalawang mapuwa players ang nakasabay niya doon. Agaw na agaw for Pimentel. Pero may agaw din ang Letran. But maagaw, hindi. Miller, yes! Finally, accounting for himself. Pero ang ganda ng nako ni Michael. Three minutes remaining. Bernales and foul itong si Raimundo. Actually, si Bernales, ginamit na rin ang kanyang karanasan doon. Oh. Alam niya, may kapatahan pa ito si Raimundo. Niyasak na lamang. Pinasabi, alam niya, hindi napapasok yung tira niya eh. Mm -hmm. Pero yung contact ang sinigurado makukuha. Pag sa bibig eh. Bernales oh. makes the first free though. It still is close. If they 655 and former coach Joel Balal, he can't seem to pull his emotions and his involvement. He missed. Crucial yun, partner. So it's the one-point lead for Letran now, 56-55, and they have the leather. This is Calagio. Calagio with the leather against Benedicto. The matchup is there all evening long sa Araneta Coliseum. Calagio. Saklot. Good fake. Going to Garcia. Ayo, inabot, inabot, partner. Again, Garcia. Sawang-sawa na siya sa sapal ni Rodriguez. Ichachallenge na ichachallenge ito. That's the third time na nalusot na ni Mike Garcia ang mahahabang kamay ni Rodriguez. Letran, 58-55 ang Mapua and the blocking foul there on Mike Garcia. Well, si Garcia matatawagan na kanyang pang-apat na personal foul. That could be trouble for the uh, high-lifting Garcia na ina nga siya'y nakakapag-bail out sa kanila dito sa pagpumutot. Si Pimentel actually very much responsible Para dito dito sa overtime na ito, ang ganda ng arakada niya before the regulation ended at pasok ang kanya na unang puntos dito sa overtime. He now was 11 points. Last year, he averaged only 6 points. Ngayon, hindi pa siya na may sa free throw line. Nabate. At uh, may offensive ball rebound. Here is Rodriguez. Wouldn't fall for it. But another chance for Mapua. This time to deadlock the score. 58-50. Talaga kinatatakutan na ito. Pero uh, sa free throw, mahaba, mahaba. Oh, oh. kailangan lang ng steadiness dito, especially the big men. Marami-raming namimites itong uh, magkabilang kumpunan. Although only a 2-point lead for Letran. Look at the numbers of Omanzi Rodriguez. Well, limang rebound, limang shot block, pero dalawang mintes ng free throw. And the hustle in favor of Mapua, but this time he was stepping on the line. Tim Kikalag, yung napaikot niya yung bola, bukas na si Miller. Si nag-hesitate siya, kaya inabutan siya ng defensa. Ngayon, lilimang segundo na natitira sa kanila. And Saplot has to throw it up. And he will miss. 58-56, a minute and 44. 
What feelings do you have? Could this be number two in terms of overtime? But Benedicto just filed it in from three-point country. A big game para dito kay Patrick Benedicto. They pang, can feel it, ha? Pang lima na, na three-point shot and Mapu and now on top by one. Nakangiti ito si Benedicto. Ito na naman yung ball rotation. Miller trying to move it closer. Prior inilabas kay Calagio. Calagio aiming. He is blocked but he was fouled and that would mean three free throws. Pimentel court for the foul. Well, overtime na ito, Randy. Mm -hmm. They have nothing to lose dito. Napapwersa na nila dito kung mananalo sila. This would be a big win for them. Finally, but, the third free throw pumasok for Calagio. 59, Mapua. 59, Letran. A minute and eight seconds. Both teams in penalty. Overtime period po tayo. First game pa lamang po. Shade of things to come. Malamang. Here is Reyes. He has drilled the three-point shot. Actually, two three-point shots dito sa second half. Benedicto going to Tuason. What are they to do with the leather? They've got five to shoot. Tuason to Reyes. He's got to put it in. Big basket! Big basket on Mapua. With the yes. Hindi na nila ang bola. They have to recover dito Rado. If they want to make this a little close for them. Calagio. They're behind by two points. Who's going to take it? Saklot. He's got to put it up. It doesn't go in. And Mapua could hang on. They could hang on to the leather and win. Meanwhile, a foul there given up by Miller. 6.6 .6 seconds remaining in the overtime period. Well, seeing Miller, I uh, matatawagan ng uh, personal foul. Para kay Miller, that would be his fourth personal foul at point shot. All eyes on Garcia of Mapua. Efren Garcia Jr. He hits. Rookie jitters for Efren Garcia. Mente sa kanyang unang tira. At And nabubuhayan itong mga tagalitran, Randy. Oh, may pag-asa pa nga naman eh. They've got 6.6 seconds to try to score a three-point shot. Here is Calagio looking for the equalizer. Calagio, yes! yes! What a shot! Calagio, what a shot! And... We're into the second overtime between Letran and Mapua. It's not yet over. Second overtime. Here is Calagio. The three-point shot. Here it comes in slow-mo. Benigno. Right in time to tie the overtime period. And we're going to second overtime. So please. See that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave us. We'll be back. Something has got to give somewhere. Well, ang bumitaw po sa Mapua in terms of fouls ay si Pimentel. He fouled out in first overtime. We're into the second overtime in Mapua. First possession. Here is Bernales inside to Rodriguez. He loses it to Saklot. Rejuvenated let run. 62 all. Well, tama ka. Hindi na uubos ang palitan ng uh, pressure dito. Oo, oh, kanina. You were talking about Mapua putting the pressure on Letran. Ngayon, mukhang baliktad na partner. Well, tama ka. And a big momentum na ibinigay ng three-point shot na yun ni Calagio. Sa kanya kung po nandito. Mula sa labas. Boom! Boom! Naman, a three-point shot from Viloria. Yes! Para... Soriano, low post play. No basket for him. And a blocking foul on the Willie Miller. Oh, tama ka si Willie Miller. Panglima na ito. Na personal foul Miller para kay Miller. Yeah. That's a big blow, huh? Tama ka. Dalawa na ang magpa-foul out para sa Letran. Which could be a blessing for them because Miller has been committing a lot of turnovers dito, Randy. And it's turned the ball over so many times. Well, for Miller, ilan na ba na nashoot niya? Well, si Miller ay nagbigay lamang ng uh, 6 puntos dito sa ating laban na ito. Mm -hmm. Which is a... Uh, Somehow, a far cry mula doon sa kanyang performance last year because he averaged 13 during the last year's campaign. Could be fatigue for Reyes. Oh, dito, kailangan itaas nila yung energy nila, no, Rado. At uh, huwag mo nang isipin na sayang, andun eh. Ito, second overtime na. He's got 12 points. Francis Jerome Reyes finally making the second free throw. We're having Mapua 67, Letran 66. Here is Calagio against Benedicto. The matchup of the evening. Calagio. He loses the handle, and it was last touched by uh, Mapua with three seconds, Rado. Again, itong all night long. Yung depensa ng uh, Mapua Institute of Technology ang uh, nagbibigay sa kanila ng uh, malaking pagkakataon. Oh, the block! The block by Rodriguez. And 
Nope, it will be turnover and the clock from Taletran. Front line. So Ambola, babalik na naman sa mga tagal Taletran after the turnover. The setup. Here is Viloria. He has already drilled one. There's the second one in second overtime. Tama nga si Viloria. Meron ng six points dito sa second overtime. A total of eight for him. Dalawang three-point shot. Mabibigat yan from a rookie. So conspiracy of the rookies for Letran. And there's a push down low. Two free throws for Rodriguez. Ngayon si Rodriguez naman ang masusunungan sa free throw area. Pero it's been a management student from Cebu. Oh, man, si Rodriguez. Now is his time to shine. Kanina pa na yan. Depensa. Pero Depensa. Kinukulang siya. 69-67. Latran on top by two points. One minute and 54. Rodriguez. Partner, walang ipinasok. Walang ipinasok si Rodriguez. Nakuha pa ng Latran ang pagkakataon. And so the momentum changing address very often in overtime. 69 ang Letran, 67 ang Mapua. Kita nyo po yung oras sa baba ng inyong mga TV screens. Here is Calagio. He couldn't fake Benedicto Viloria. No shot for him. Six seconds to shoot para sa Letran. Calagio, tingin sa orasan. Lumapit. He's gotta take it. The handoff. Yes! To Big Michael play. Sito. Big play for Chris Calagio. Kinuha niya ang depesa pero magandang cut ni Mike Garcia. Solo solo for that layup. And it gives Letran a four-point lead. Here is the play for Mapua. Reyes trapped, trying to go for a receiver. Omansi Rodriguez, voila! And loose leather, it's Letran. And there's a loose ball foul there. And two free throws for Veloria. Some ng kanyang dalawang free throws from Cebu. He missed his first free throw. Yan po si Veloria. But definitely, this guy is the offensive man of the second overtime for Letran. He tallied two three-point shots, only for the three-point shots, and he named this second free throw. 72 for Letran, and last touch, si Jan Prior. 58.3 seconds. Well, Mapua has to score na dito. Desperately needing a uh, quick basket here. Dahil babalik ang bola sa Letran, who will, I'm sure, waste a lot of seconds. But, they got the first. Oh, nakuha niya yun. Truly, Reyes, he brought Mapua closer within three points, 72-69. There's the press, and they have to throw it as soon as possible, and Rodriguez fouling Mike Garcia. Tang na itatala ni Mike Garcia, pero hindi pa siya nakakasit sa free throw line. Ooh. Again, he misses. Zero out of three para dito kay Mike Garcia, a management student from Santa Rosa, Laguna. He makes the second goal. So, four-point advantage for Letran, 73-69. A basket in a hurry. That's what they're thinking, but they gave the ball up. And yeah, only a rookie. He nails his 11 point. It's a six-point advantage now for Letran, 75-69. You see the time. The seconds ticking away for Mapua. The cross court, the three-point shot, Benedicto. Oh. We still have a ball game. It's not it over. Only a three-point ball game with enough time. It in point. Mapua and Letran. Oh, pero yung iba naman mga Eskela na maglalaban-laban. Kailangan ng quick foul ng Mapua. Dito, pero they forced the turnover. Yes. What a twist of things. Actually, that was the first option to go for the interception. Pero nung may inbound itong mga taga-Letran, ang uh, gusto na lang kunin itong mga taga-Mapua is to give up their own foul. Pero nag-turnover mismo ang mga taga-Letran. So another chance for Mapua to make a basket. Only a three-point ball in 75-72. They can even elect to make a quick two. And then go for another interception. But this is only 15 seconds, partner. Tignan natin ang discard na. Ito na. Will it be quick two or uh, three? Benedicto, Reyes, Igo Tambola. They're working in the perimeter. Benedicto looking for it. And the steal there. Well, actually a tap out by Saplot with 4.5 seconds remaining. Well, you can anticipate. Ito, tres na talaga. Ito. Three free throws. Mora Bernales, the pass against Saplot. And Benedicto holding on. It, this could be it. With five, five, 1.6 seconds remaining. Bernales was put into this ball game for defensive purposes. Obviously, he was not there for the offensive purpose. And Nag-hesitate siya dito. Yes. Malam niya yung kanyang pasa. Nakuha ni Saklot. Who will be fouled by Benedicto? And will shoot two free throws. 